You just move the thing when it's, you see a blinking, that's your set point. Okay? Got it. So then you can adjust it from there. Okay. Then stop. Only go do two degrees at a time because. Chuck Sinewick is part of our maintenance department and has been with District 89 for years. And he will be retiring at the end of this year. His skill set will be sorely missed here in District 89. For those of you that don't know Chuck or have not worked with Chuck, he is our heating and cooling guy. So he makes sure that classrooms are comfortable and well ventilated and manages all those controls. Right now we'll put you back down to 68, but I'll put it up a little higher for you to play with it. Chuck came to us from a background in controls. He was with Johnson Controls and Honeywell prior to coming to District 89. We were just very fortunate to have someone with his skill and caliber join our team. Well, we're fortunate here with the type of systems that we have that we can bring up cooling and heating pretty rapidly. Um, and he's very instrumental in that, you know, and again, energy management wise, he's very helpful with uh, saving us money with temperature reset of the boilers and chillers. One year, combined effort, we saved the district $300,000. Because he's so good at temperature control work, he's really provided an environment that's conducive to learning. Chuck works on a daily basis to make sure that our students can come into school and be comfortable, so our teachers can come into school and be comfortable and walk into their classrooms and go about their business of teaching and learning. And so Chuck is working behind the scenes to make sure all of that is in place and operable. As far as snow removal is concerned, I have to say he's the first guy in. He's the first guy in the truck and he's the first guy to go out and start plowing. So he really gets us ahead of the game in that area. Chuck is looking forward to retirement. He and his wife Kathy and their two Shih Tzus are going to spend a lot of time traveling. They're moving out of the state of Illinois. They love to travel the states in an RV and they are moving to Florida. He's building a new house down there and really can't wait to get to the warmer weather. Chuck is a veteran and has served his country and served District 89 incredibly well. He will be missed and we wish him all the best in the future. So Chuck, congratulations on your retirement and um, we hope that this next phase of life is filled with everything you want it to be.